what's going on? Vin here from Nerd Talk with a kind of a spontaneous video. Um, this is what to do when you try to flash a ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or maybe even a you know other Samsung device or maybe even just an LG or a Motorola device. But anyways, um, basically this is what to do when you try to flash something or you're trying to do something on your phone and you mess up and get to this point where it's just trying to boot continuously for hours and you basically feel like you broke your phone. Well, this is how you fix it. And by the way, yes, this happened to me today. I was trying to make a video on a ROM review of the new clean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and how to install it. And meanwhile, I messed up and this happened. So, yeah. Happened to me too, guys, but this is how you fix it. Alright, guys, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Samsung. Uh, basically, all you have to do is go to Google and search for the Samsung drivers. I'll just leave a link down below for you. But, uh, anyways, you're gonna go to the drivers page that I'm gonna provide. Uh, depending on your phone, this is obviously for the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge for Verizon. Uh, but, anyways, first thing we're gonna do is download the drivers for it alright and it's gonna download alright then we're gonna click on it when it's done downloading and install it alright here we go so we're gonna just hit next we're gonna make sure it's checked for English and United States of America and then we're gonna hit install this will take a few seconds while it's installing, it's uh, probably a good idea to go ahead and grab your USB cord and grab your phone as well. And we're going to put it into download mode. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the power button, the volume down. So power button, volume down, and the home key all at the same time. And you're going to hold them. And there we go. So it should come up just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and hit volume up for continue. And you'll be in downloading mode. Just leave your phone off to the side for now. And we'll come back to it in a second. Alright, so here we are. Uh, all finished up. So we're just going to hit finish. Alright, next you're going to go over to the other couple of links that I left. And they're going to bring you to this page on XDA. Now this is the, um, the tar file that you're going to need for flashing your stock Verizon ROM back to the device. Uh, this will make you lose all of your data and stuff, guys, but at least it's going to, you know... Make you have a good and functioning phone so you can kind of start from square one. It kind of sucks. I know. I'm there with you. But this is the best way to do it. So anyways, you can download this here. And then you're also going to scroll down. He has another link here for Odin. You're going to need that. So download both of those. Uh, I'll leave it, like I said, I'll leave a link down below to this. And you download these two links, all right? Now when you're done with that, you're going to want to unzip Odin, so you're going to want to open it up, okay, and you're, oops, let's go back, so you're going to want to go into your downloads or wherever it might have um, been put, and you want to uh, left click, or excuse me, right click, uh, and then you want to do extract all, and then just go ahead and put it on your desktop. Okay, guys, I already did this. Also, do the same exact thing for the other file, okay? The tar file. So this one here, Veri uh, all Verizon uh, underscore G920V, and it has all these other, you know, models listed. So you're going to left click, on, or excuse me, right click on that, extract all, and then you're going to browse and make sure it's going to your desktop. Okay, guys? It's just going to be the easiest way to do this. Let's go extract. It will take a second. By the way, this file is also going to take a while to download. I should have said that earlier, but it is almost 4 gigs. So it will take you a little while. Alright, you guys. So when that's done, you should have a weird 
tar document that you can't open. That would be tar.md5. And what you're going to do next is you're going to open up Odin. So you go in that Odin folder that you unzipped and you're going to click on the application. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your phone, okay, and you're going to plug in your USB to the computer and then into the phone obviously, okay. And as you can see here it says added and then we're going to hit AP and then we're going to navigate to our desktop and find the all VZW tar file. Okay, we're going to open it up. Don't freak out, this will take a moment for it to load. By the way you guys, you might see some difficulties when you first try and do this. Uh, if your phone does not show up right here, this is it actually showing that it recognizes your phone connected to your computer. If you don't see that, that means your drivers are not installed properly. Uh, I would recommend basically either reinstalling them or maybe trying to install the USB driver for your computer. Okay, and there we are. We, all, we are all set and ready. And now all we have to do is hit the start button. Alright guys, here we are, finally, almost completely set up. Uh, as you can see, we finally re uh, rebooted and loaded our device back up uh, to the setup wizard. So, we can now go through the setup process and start all over again. Uh, I know it might be difficult doing it this way, but it is really the best way and it may be our last resort for some of you because you will lose everything and all your progress. You will have to start completely from scratch uh, while doing this method. So, but it is a way to at least get your phone running again if you make a huge mistake like I just did. So, hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, I'm not going to go, you know, and look at the open the phone and stuff on camera. I don't think that's really necessary. I just want to show you guys that this is how you do it and show you that it's working. So here we are, uh, finally back up and running. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope this video helped you guys out in some way. If you learned something or if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if, as always, follow me on Twitter and like the page on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching again, guys. See you in the next one.